Hi everybody, <laughs> Kyung here, and I'm super excited today because I have ideas. Um, we're gonna work on the train journal. So uh, last time we did the flippy flappies, see, flippy flappy, and we have these pages to work on. And then um, also I wanna make some tags. So the first thing I thought is we would decoupage this giant piece of 12 by 12, and then we would like cut it apart and use it for, um, and use it for tags, right? So I have this like Tim Holtz decoupage paper. What is this one? Typography. And I figure we would just put this down really quick on this. Ooh, open my gesso. And um, where did my, okay. And I have this brush. It's just a cheap, it's a cheap, I think like Dollar Tree brush. But I'm just gonna, um, put something down underneath me. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put a layer down. All right, and this, this like paper is kind of textured. I don't know. It's got like a weird kind of texture to it. Um, I just, I wanna put a little bit down to make it sticky because this, uh, the Tim Holtz collage paper, I don't know, stuff doesn't like to seep through it, I notice, too well. So I was, um, so I watch uh, Nelda's Crafts and she's such a sweet, sweet lady. She did the, um, the Christmas uh, collaboration, which is, how I, which is how I found her. And uh, she recently, let me, I'm gonna get pieces of this. Okay, so she recently did a video where she um, is talks about uh, journaling for um, like every single day for mental health or whatever to like improve mental health and it's such a great little video it's like five minutes and it has all these little I don't know like information and tidbits and um, but it's just five minutes and I would describe Nelda as being a sweet soul that's how I would do I love all her videos and um, uh, so I decided that I was going to try to do it. I was going to try to like do that right every single day. And I think that it will really help with my memory and, um, and a plethora of other things. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited to see how that will go and what my progress will be on that. I, mean, I think one thing that'll be interesting, cause I've never been able to really keep to writing every day but I love the idea of writing anything that it doesn't have to be structured it doesn't have to be you know well what did you do or what do you think or you know it could be anything and so um, I I love that idea so I've been doing it I've been doing it for the past couple days and then yesterday I noticed she uh, released a new video that's um, like music and uh, music and images to help you journal and things like that. And I haven't watched it yet, but I'm excited to go check that out and see, see what she put together. I always love the music she picks for her videos because many times she will play, you know, music. And uh, I always like the music she picks for her videos. So I'm excited to go over there and see. Okay, this Tim Holtz paper, you know, it really doesn't like to stick. It really, look at it. It really doesn't. Okay, just stick down and be good. Be good. This is supposed to be like a quick thing. I <laughs> don't want to sit here for hours collaging this paper, this page. I'm just want to be able to make some tags. And um, you know, this takes a while to dry. So let's plop some more. I'm using the wrapper to my tea bag paper <laughs> for a palette. Use what you got, right? Instead of throwing it away. Okay, maybe I'll put like a thicker layer, a thicker layer of gesso on the bottom, and then it will actually, we'll get it to stick maybe, huh? Stick that right there. Yes, much better. Yeah, this Tim Holtz collage paper, it, it is not, things do not like to seep through it. 
which I guess is good and it's you know I mean it has it that has its advantages let's cut this piece of extra off All right and we can use it up here bum, bum. and I don't care I'm not trying to make it perfect this is just, it's basically gonna be like a master board is kind of the idea. So we can like stick other things on it too. Here's this one, let's stick this piece on there. Then I have this other roll too. It's called what? Document, and we can put some of that on there too. I think it'll match. Look, that even says railway. How cool. Yeah, and then we'll let it dry and everything. Here, we'll lift this, move this down. I've had this since this stuff since Christmas because my sister bought it, bought it for me. And I've been all, I've been hoarding it, to be honest. <laughs> Cause it's nice, you know, all the Tim Holtz stuff. So I've been hoarding it and I thought, okay, if if ever is the time to play with the Tim Holtz, uh, I don't want to get that on my wood, I got that on my wood paper, bite that off. So if ever was the time to play with Tim Holtz stuff, I thought now it would be the time. Hmm? If it will stick for me. <laughs> okay, I don't care about this little part because we're gonna put other stuff on it too. So, just a little bit, maybe some uh, tickets or stuff, or I don't know, something, something. I've been so busy lately, yet I haven't done anything. <laughs> I've been so tired. I've just wanted to sleep. It's terrible. All I did today was sleep, which, and then I slept too much. And then, you know, when you wake up and you're like, ugh, you don't feel, you know, you feel like you overslept, like you slept too much. And so I don't know, but I've been cleaning lots and lots of cleaning. I cleaned the garage. I shampooed the carpets. I even was able to get to um, do some work on the uh, on my craft area and like organize it a little. And I still have just a little bit of work to do on it, but um, oh, it's ma it's making progress, and I'm actually able to find things. And um, so I figure when that's done, I'll probably do a little video, um, show my craft space because it's completely different than the last one I. Uh, than the last one I put up. Let's stick this one along here. Perhaps like this. Okay. And we'll put this one right there. Oh, this paper's so nice. Doesn't that look nice? I don't know. I think that looks really good. I really like it. Let's see. What is this one? This is the documents one, which is the one we want to use for right now. Okay. What else do I know? The coyotes have been uh, sounding off a lot, like almost every night now. They just start going off. And the dogs, my dogs, they're, they don't know what to think about it. They're a little... Fitz goes outside and barks. <laughs> and uh, my Phoebe girl, she goes hides. She doesn't like it. She's scared of it. And she doesn't like anything though. She's scared of squeaky toys. <laughs> you know, a squeaky toy. Like if one of the other dogs starts playing with a squeaky toy, she'll go hide. So we don't buy those often because poor girl. I don't know why she's scared of them. Nothing has ever happened in her. And I've had her since a puppy. 
So, and nothing has ever, ever happened to her <laughs> that I know of that would make her scared of squeaky toys. I don't know. <laughs> She's a weird one, Phoebe. She's a... She's my sister's dog, really. Okay. And then this will be it. And then we can wait for it to dry. We'll set it aside. I wanted to get this done and out of the way so that it would be dry and ready to go. And I could have done it off screen, but I don't know. I like it. It's so pretty. Yay, we'll be able to cut that up and use it for tags. I'm excited. Okay, so there's that. I'll set that aside to dry and we'll put the cap on our gesso. And I'm using like just, I don't have a good collage medium yet. I'm trying to use up this really cheap um, clear gesso, but there's still so much. I may just um, break down and buy some nice, uh, like I wanna try the Tim Holtz collage medium. It seems to me that uh, that seems to be the best kind. And then there's the um, the uh, um, the golden too of like of uh, in terms of gesso, and I'm gonna get some of that as well. I think we decided on golden because if you're gonna do it right, if you want to get better stuff, might as well just get better stuff. I think, right? What's a couple extra dollars? <laughs> anyway, okay, so. I have this wood, this wood grain that I've printed out, and um, I love it. I found it online on like Wikimedia, Wikipedia Commons or whatever, so it's a free, uh, it's free. I just put it into my Photoshop and made it bigger and printed it out, and it printed out kind of messed up, but I only need this much anyway. So let's grab the page we're going to work on. We don't need the whole signature, right? And this, I'm thinking I want to put, because we have bulk on the other side of this, I'm thinking I'll, I, what I want to do is I want to put the thing, I'm going to make doors. I'm going to make opening doors that open. <laughs> opening doors that open. So here's the thing. One, two, three, four, five and a half. So we measure five and a half. Maybe I'll cut it, oh, I don't know, four and a half. Maybe I'll cut it four and a half and then I'll um, cut it in half again. I wanna have enough room for little flappies. So you won't believe, I bought a new blade, replacement blade for my, you know, my little Westcott cutter. And they were the wrong blades. I couldn't believe it. I was so upset. And um, so I'm gonna have to order the correct blades online, I think. Or I may also um, decide to just wait and buy like a nicer, uh, No! What am I doing? Right? What am I what am I doing? Okay, this That's what I'm doing. Okay, because this this excess is going to get cut off. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I thought I had I thought I completely messed up there for a second. I'm so terrible. I don't ever do like I need to because I find that when I do, it I, goes more smoothly. <laughs> but I don't ever do like prototypes and stuff, you know, I just do it on a way. I'm like, I kind of have this idea. Let me just turn the camera on and try it. <laughs> and sometimes it comes out really well. And sometimes it turns into a disaster. <laughs> Yes, okay, I'm thinking if we score a half an inch along each side, I think that'll give us enough, which will take off an inch, right? 
one, two, three, four, five and a half. No, I think that'll make it still too big. Right? Because we're five and a half. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Okay. So if this is together, right? One, two, three, four, five and a half. So we need to score, geez, an inch, a whole inch on each one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe even a little tiny bit more than an inch even. That's a lot. I feel like that's a lot. I don't know. We're gonna go, you know, my math is not good, so. And I'm not gonna sit and take the time, I, I mean, I could sit and take the time and watch you how terrible I am by writing it down. <laughs> we're gonna score it in an inch and we're gonna see. Yeah, we'll score it in an inch and we'll see how that goes. We'll see if that fits on our on our page or not, if it comes together or if it's too small, right? We might have scored too much. I mean, actually it's perfect. Look at that, it's perfect. Yeah, and it gives us a little tiny bit of room for a border, which is great. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so we have this page. And um, I need to cut it to fit our doors. All right, so, so we need to cut eh. We'll just mark it. That pencil is not sharpened. <laughs> I grabbed an unsharpened pencil. Okay, and then here. So yeah, I'm excited to do this uh, journaling everyday thing and, um, and see how far I get with it. I'm excited. I'm excited to see progress and all kinds of things and um, look back, I think, too, is another thing I'm excited about. Maybe be able to see thought patterns, like patterns of thought and all kinds of things. It should be interesting, I think. Oh my goodness, my finger is from the gesso and the... Okay, whatever, we're covering it anyway, it doesn't matter. Look at that, perfect. Okay, and then what we wanna do is, I think I'm gonna, um, I mean, do we really need all that bulk? You know, that's the problem. We'll trim off some of the flap because it doesn't need to be that thick. Right? I, that's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't care. It doesn't need to be even either because it's not going to be seen. Right? Let's, let's turn that over and not see my ugly, dirty fingerprints. <laughs> Let me grab a baby wipe. Wipe the sticky gesso off my fingers. That will help must always be aware of the ink and all the sticky stuff and stuff on your fingers when you craft otherwise you muck up your work I do that often I find okay so I think I'm going to ink it black ink the doors black and you know we could do stuff with them I don't know right we could play with like uh stickers and stuff but I'm not exactly sure I kind of like them plain um, we could try to draw like panels on them that I might do because hey, you know, like why not try to mess it up? <laughs> okay. I have black buttons, which is what I'm going to use. Actually, no, look at these. I got these recently. Aren't these fancy? Look at these. They're all wooden they're, and there's little tiny ones. Look at, look at this one. Look at this one. I could go through this box of buttons for so long. I loved them. And so we were at the craft store and I found like this jar of them and I picked him up and I ran over to my husband and I was like, can I get these? Can I was like a little kid. <laughs> he was like, yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> like why even ask? Just put them in the basket. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Yeah, that looks so much better with the black around it, around the wood. I was so surprised. I went through the heirloom pad that there's this big heirloom pad, right? And I bought it. Um, it comes with like, geez, I think over 200 pages. I'm not sure. It's huge. But it was well worth it, and um, I saw Miss Paint-A-Lot use it on her videos. Uh, I think that was during the January Daily, um, is when that um, all came about. But I had bought it, it was like on sale, and I bought it. And um, it has so many designs in it. Can you believe that it had no wood? It has one wood grain. It has two, okay? One wood grain in that pad is green. It's a green wood, which is great. It's beautiful, but it's green, right? Um, and then the only other wood grain in that pack is like a really light, I don't know, I would say like a birch kind of, which is really what I didn't want. I wanted a darker. Yeah, they didn't even have like an oak or a, no, I was really surprised. I was really surprised. Okay, so let's um, sew on our buttons first um, before we back it, because we are going to back this with, I think, coffee coffee dyed paper. Let's see if we can find two that match. Hmm? These two match. Oh, look at that. Are they perfect or what? They're a little large, but you know what? They're perfect. They're perfect. I like these two with the faux stitching. These are great. These two. What about these? I don't know. It's so hard to choose. Hmm? So hard. I like this one. Is there another one like that? It's not one like that. There we go. I mean, these ones are a little more plain. Right? This one is also very cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. I like these ones. I think I'll go with these ones because I think... I just really like them and I love that like the like stitching that's like carved into the wood around the it's so cool so we'll use those and we'll use black thread should we use black thread or like I think we'll use embroidery we'll use embroidery let me grab it okay My embroidery that's, there's that color. I think that's the only, like the dark. Oh, here we go. I have that brown. That works even better. Okay. We'll just grab a length of this. Do, do. Cut it and I'm gonna separate it probably into threes. All right, so that we get three strands. Come on, you know you want to come with your brothers. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. Okay, <laughs> now we have two strands. This I doubt we'll use both, but I have one for later anyway. Grab my needle and we're gonna stitch them into, why is there like glue on this? Someone used it to, oh no, and it dropped right into my, right into my, uh, my paper bucket. I'll have to dig that out <laughs> later. I'm not gonna right now. I know where it is though. It's in the bucket with my uh, paper pads, which is right under my desk. And so at least it didn't fall on the floor. Oh, my mother, my mother had a huge pet peeve about needles on the floor. And um, you know, it's funny. I, I took a sewing class in college, a couple of them. And It was so genius, 
right? So he had us buy these like magnet pin cushions, which I actually have. That's what this is. I have two of them. They're uh, magnet pin cushions. This one is my sister's. Um, and uh, if you drop a needle on the floor, right? You just use you just use the uh, magnet to find the needle. You just run the magnet all along the floor and, and it will eventually pick up your needle. And I was amazed because my mother, you know, she, uh, <laughs> I have many memories just, oh, uh, for just, so much time spent scouring the carpet and stuff when I was a kid looking for the needle I dropped, you know, and um, <laughs> cause she was not, okay. So there's one, right? So there's one button and we wanna make sure that the next button is on there evenly with this button. Otherwise it'll look funny, right? So there we go. And I like to do them crisscross from each other because I think that looks nice. Um, but um, I've seen many people do it many different ways. Now I'm not gluing it onto the page because I'm going to use it. Come on. There it is. There's the hole. Sometimes, you know, you just got to look, <laughs> feel around for it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, fall is coming. Autumn is coming. It's coming fast. It was so cold at night. <laughs> I woke up this morning freezing, freezing. And uh, my husband likes it cold, so, um, but, uh, so we don't have the heater on at night or whatever, but uh, for the first time, Last night, I woke up, or this morning, I woke up just freezing, just freezing. So here's an, one thing we're gonna do. So in order to like, so that we can use this as a closure, right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tie it like this, right? I'm gonna tie it again. Okay, like this. Okay, and then I'm actually, we don't need the needle. I'm gonna put the needle in. Look at this, isn't this so cute? I found this little pin cushion in a grab bag at the thrift store that had like ribbon in it. And it had this little pin cushion in it. It's so cute. Um, it came with a couple of other pin cushions too. So, okay, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna wrap it around. Yeah, that's going to make the button pop up. See, that gives us space in between the button and the paper. That's going to allow us to use it as a closure. And I'm not going to use this embroidery thread as the closure. I think maybe we'll use, we'll see. I Maybe I have like a nice trim or something. If not, we can always just use... Um, uh, the twine, right? Since we've used it in other places in the journal. Oh, don't do that. You don't want it to rip. I, I think we're good. You want to rip through your paper because thread can rip through paper, right? It's thread can cut. I don't know. I've, I don't know if any, any of you have ever had like a, right? They're like paper cuts, but they're with thread. Oh my goodness. I thought paper cuts were bad. All right. So we have our buttons st stitched on, right? And they're like our doorknobs. And we can open the doors like this and close them up and we're going to back this with coffee dyed paper. I 
have here. Which side is darker? This side's darker. Let's use the darker side, right? Trim it. <clears throat> Yeah, the aspen, my little aspen tree, its leaves are changing fast. Um, which is funny, he's one of the only aspen trees left in the uh, in the neighborhood that's still green. All the older ones are already yellow. They're all already yellow. And he's, he's still green, but he's changing. And... Um, I was so happy to plant aspen. I have memories of um, aspen trees growing up uh, in the house that we grew up in. We had we had one um, my, that my mother planted in the front yard. And she planted it because I guess she had killed, accidentally killed an, um, a tree in the backyard. Um, I guess when they moved in, into the house, there was a tree that, or not a tree, but there was like some kind of plant and it was like a weed or something. And they were trying to get rid of it. And um, so they heard of so this like salt trick where you like, because they could not get rid of it. They tried everything. And so they, they uh, come on, I had thinned you out. Now you don't want to work. Um, so they dug around the area, right, where that this weed was, and um, put like salt in it, in like the earth. <laughs> they salted the earth, basically. Well, it ended up killing this tree in the backyard instead, because it, you know, it like got its roots or something. And then that weed that they were trying to kill, yeah, it stayed alive. It was just. <laughs> Some kind of weird ground cover weed stuff, and go away, you little gnat. Okay, there we go. We have one backed, doom, doom. and let's glue the other one on there. So yeah, we we watched that tree grow when we were kids. Um, it's sad. I, I don't know. And I don't understand people's mentality, but when we moved out of that house, you know, uh, we, I, we drove by and I guess they took that tree out. They took it out. They just, t I don't know why, why would you take the only tree in the front yard out of the whatever? I don't understand. <laughs> But we used to play all the time with the leaves of that tree. And we used to play under it. Because it was like a little, it was little, kind of, you know. And so it was like perfect for us kids. <laughs> but I do remember mom kind of always giving us a hard time about being careful with it, you know. She didn't want us killing it, the poor tree. So I'm super happy to have planted one here and um, that it's doing good and it, it'll survive the winter. It was it established itself good all year so I think it'll be fine all throughout the winter and surprisingly I think my hydrangea will live through the winter. Um, that thing. <laughs> That thing died and came back three times this year. Like something would happen, right? The dogs would trample it or something, right? The hail or something happened, you know? Um, and uh, it would always try to come back. Like it really wants to live. So I'm going to baby it all winter. I'll probably get like a little cover thing for it so it doesn't get snowed on too bad. Um, I'll just keep it... I'll just baby it all winter and hopefully it'll survive and uh, come back next spring. 
that would be really cool. I doubt we'd get flowers next spring. It's still a baby. It never did get to become anything but. <laughs> okay, so I found this awesome picture of like, I think what like inside the train station, right? Like you open the doors to the train station. Doom, doom, doom. Right, this is the idea. Ta-da, and there's the inside of the train station. I love it. Um, what do we think about book pages? I think so. I like the idea. <laughs> That's what I think. Let's use, I don't know, I guess this book. Let's see. We were two days from reaching the northern end of Mississippi Bay. It was the end of the second day. Do, 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 do. These books are usually pretty good because they're written for kids for the most part. Oh, look, there's that. Right? So what's on the other side? <laughs> I mean, are people really going to get that offended? I suppose, probably. I don't care. I honestly don't. Okay. okay I mean, if sensibilities are that delicate, well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> But look at the color matches perfect. Uh, the color of these book pages match so perfect to this illustration, which is a book illustration. It's not, it didn't come out of any book that I have. I printed it, I found it. Again, I think I found it on Wikimedia, Wikipedia. Wikipedia. You know what, I guess I'll just collage it on there. We'll just collage it all on there, just around the border. I think. Let's see. This is fine. Oh my goodness. I always forget, you know, I'm not used to using this giant glue bottle. Uh, you really don't have to put pressure on it. <laughs> it just kind of flies out of there. It's funny. So I made roast, a beef roast for my sister as like a congratulations. It was yummy. And tonight is baking. I'm going to make some bread. Um, I got to get those plums uh, cooked and uh, sorted out. We've just been munching on them. They're so good. They're so sweet. and. Um, it's so cool. I've never had a fruit tree that like you could actually eat the fruit from. Um, at the old house me and my husband lived at, uh, they had, um, we had cherries that grew in the front yard. We had like a cherry tree, but they were so tart. They were tart cherries and uh, you couldn't eat them. They were just, I mean, I suppose if you really loved tart uh, cherries, <laughs> Because my dad did. He liked them. He would just eat them right off the tree. And, oh, they were, whew, they were very tart. So it was so cool to have. I think it's just so cool to have a fruit that you can just pick right off the tree and eat. I love it. Right. When we were kids, we had an apple tree in the backyard. And it wasn't, they weren't eating apples. They were like bitter. They were baking apples. So, you know, my mother would make apple pie and stuff, you know, but um, you wouldn't want to eat them. They were just so, we would try as kids. <laughs> you know, just because of the whole idea and fantasy of, you know, like um, eating an apple off the tree. <laughs> they were not good. So sour, so bitter, but good memories. <laughs> there was a boy that lived back there. Okay, so the apple tree was across the fence. It was right across the fence in the neighbor's yard. So it wasn't our apple tree. It was a neighbor's apple tree, but it was right across the back fence. And there was a boy that lived over, well, he didn't live there. His grandparents lived there, but he would go over there sometimes. And so sometimes I'd go out there and he would sit in that apple tree. And 
we would eventually we eventually became friends, you know, because I would be outside in the back playing, and all of a sudden he'd like some kid would be talking to me, and I'd look up, and there he'd be in the tree right above me, like Cheshire Cat or something. <laughs> oh, I can't remember his name. Jeez, it's like Mark maybe. I don't know. But our, his parents were really strict. And he, he was never allowed to ever play with anyone or go anywhere or do anything. But his grandparents were cool, so they would let him talk to me anyway um, across the fence. <laughs> and then once he got older, right, a few years later, when he got older, he would, like, sneak out, you know, and he'd come over to my house and we'd, like, go to the park and hang out. Um, and then he moved. I don't know. I never saw him again, but... Yep, the Apple Boy. He was cool. We would just talk. Like, he, we would just, you know, because he wasn't ever allowed to, like, do, you know, play or do anything. So we would just talk, and he, he would, I would sit out back. And, uh, I don't remember what we would talk about. <laughs> we were kids, right? So whatever. <laughs> anything. Okay, the weird things. <laughs> what do children talk about? I can't. I I can't remember what I we used to talk about as a kid. I don't know games. You know, fun things. You know, I mean, talking was boring as a child. Like I remember, you know, like the parents wanted to sit around and talk, and it was so boring. <laughs> They'd be like, okay, we're going to go. We're ready to leave, you know, and we'd be all playing, you know, and then we, so we, they'd be like, come on, put your coat on. We're getting ready to leave, blah, blah, blah. And we'd, uh, we'd all put our coats on and then we'd sit there. We would sit there as kids and we, <laughs> and then they would just continue talking, the adults. And we'd be like, oh my gosh, can we just go play? Like, why can't we go play? Sit around and talk. I thought we were going. <laughs> Right, and so then, you know, we'd sneak off to go play, and then the parents would be like, we said we were going, and they'd be like, well, we were ready, and then you sat there and talked for another two hours. Ah, <laughs> uh, to be a kid. I do remember that. I remember just, oh, uh, that talking was so boring, and, you know, why talk when you could play? Okay, awesome. I love it. I think it looks great. So yes, and then what I'll do for the other two signatures is I'll do the same thing, same idea. I'll do two doors and I'll do like a scene on the inside. But maybe what I'll try to do is I'll try to find different um, like illustrations to put on the inside and I'll use different wood grains for the door. Ooh, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, other than that, I think it'll be pretty much. Now let's glue our flippy flappies on flippy flap go away gnat this one little gnat won't leave me alone how did you even get down here i have the window down on the other side of the basement open so that's probably how okay Ta-da! it's not on there evenly <laughs> Come on. I have more problems sticking things down, huh? Ink needs to be covered. Things are always flying out of my hands. Okay, if we need to trim a little bit, we can. Okay, and for the second flap, Dum, dum, dum. Let's see that one is <laughs> Oh no. 
Okay. This is what we're going to do. Do it like this. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble gluing a flap onto a page. It's not rocket science. Or is it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> right? It's just a flap. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy with it. Yeah, this definitely needs trimmed down here. We'll just trim this. Do I trust myself with the scissors? No, but I'm going for it anyway. It would help if I wasn't holding the scissors upside down as well, but... <laughs> Okay, yay! Now we can stick it in our book and we could put some something. What do we have? What do we have? We have this. I have this gold. I like the gold. Let's use the gold. It's fancy. Yeah. It's not too shimmery, right? It's almost a it's like an antique gold, maybe. Thinking I'll tie it in a knot. Shall I tie it in a knot? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Dum da dum. And then to keep it from fraying, because this does this stuff does like to fray, I did bring a lighter down. Okay. And there we go. We have our doors. And it's gonna get glued on to this page on this side. Right, and then so we don't have to double up on bulk. Um, on that single page, the left page, the left page, the first page. Okay. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, it's so nice. I love it. Ta-da! And then if we don't like the way that that's sticking out, all right, we can glue it. I like to do that anyway. On my closures, stick a little bit of glue in there and flatten it down against the, and then I don't even, and then I don't have to worry about it either. too thick. This one will work. There we go. Then we'll just let that dry and then that, right, then it doesn't stick out and I don't ever have to worry about it coming untied or anything. Um, yay! And then as far as this page goes, um, not a big deal. I figure we'll just, you know, cover it with a, uh, with like one of these, for example. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to cut it by hand. We'll see how terrible it ends up. Let's see how bad it is. Not too bad. It could use a trim, but that's fine. Well, cool. let's trim it, put it on there. all out. Make it nice. Hopefully I took enough off. I did. I did, I did. And we'll put a pocket down on the bottom, yes? 
oops, we'll just go through, ink the edges. I'll use my Fabri-Tac sometime this year. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah, that looks great. And then you know what? I have all of these, right? And I have this, which I think will make a great pocket. Look at that. Don't those make great pockets? Let's just do it. Should I try? Should I try? No. We're going to use the rotary cutter. We're going to do it safe. Hmm? Make sure it's all straight and nice. Right? Ink it. And maybe we'll even put a trim along the top of it. That might be fancy. Fabri-Tac here doesn't really matter. Normally I would use my like art glitter glue, but the Fabri-Tac was sitting right there, so. Yay! Yay! I love it. I love it. So let's see. What do we have? I have this. We could stick that in there just as a Just as a journaling card. Oh, it's got stuff on the back of it. Well, that's no good. We'll have to back it. I'll have to back it. Do I have? Come on. Ooh. You know what? I want to use this paper that Julie sent me. The, that I got from Julie at Camille Crafts from her like paper. She has these uh, paper packs in her shop and I couldn't resist because it had piano paper and stuff in it. Oh, So what I'll do is I'll use this to back it. And that'll be great. It's like a really cool, interesting paper. I love the feel of it. Let's um, just a really get that. <laughs> Make sure it's on there. Yeah. Okay. So that can go in there like that, right? What else do we have? Let's look. Let's look at our train box. Okay. The train box. I've got my washi tape. We've got some flippy outies. Uh, these. Let's put one of these on in there. Let's put the one of the railroad tracks. I like this one. Yeah, we'll put that one in there. And what else do we have? What else do we have? A little ticket. So I'll go in there. It's a little, it's fine. Ta-da, there we go. We got a little bit of work done. I'm very happy. Um, let me move my big train boxes. 
super heavy and I can't imagine that I'm going to be using all that stuff. Uh, I have enough stuff probably for three train journals. <laughs> Goodness. So we have this. I don't like it. Oh, look, we have this little tiny white rickrack. What about that? And what, what if we grunged it up too? We could grunge it up. We'll grunge it up using some ink and then I'll call it. Mm -hmm. And we'll look at our little masterboard thing and finish making tags, I think, next time. We'll make tags and pockets. I gotta go through. Well, I won't make pockets on camera. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all these images. Right, see all these, they're lovely. I'm gonna measure them all out and then just back them and stitch around them and have them just be used as pockets. I'll have I'll have a few of those and then we can go through and put pockets in. Okay. Cause I'm getting to the point now where I'm gonna start finishing it up. We have uh, enough fancy pages, I think. Um, I might do one or two more and then uh, call it on the, in terms of the fancy pages. Um, yay, there it is. So fun. I had fun. Oh, yes. Oh, we're really quick. <laughs> Here is our master board. Tum -tum -tum. And it's lovely. I love it. We just need to trim off our little... Uh, excess flakes and then I'll um, the next time we come back we'll finish decorating it we'll just like stick stuff on it and we'll cut them up into tags and then um, we'll proceed to put the pockets in and put the tags into the pockets and um, it'll be a whole thing <laughs> so anyway um, I'll talk to you guys later I hope you guys have a good day um, bye